Hey folks, I am crouched down underneath my Lego city here with the four official Lego Ninjago city sets connected side by side. This is probably going to be very, very grainy because I'm going to have to digitally increase the brightness. I've, I've not set this up to have, uh, have a good amount of light on. This is like the backside of the cyberpunk area cyberpunk district underneath the place and there's a uh, quite a bit of boom to the audio as well when i'm underneath the tables the tables tabletops themselves work as like kind of like drums but yeah pl of course plenty of folks wanted to see these put next to each other i am continuing to keep the sets and i kind of like the the vibe that they bring they definitely have a a compatible overall feel to what I want to have underneath the city down here. Uh, there's not a whole lot else that I've done up to this point, since, especially since, since I kind of restarted it. But, you know, it's nice to have these together. And I, I personally will say that the more of these things you put together, as you start to put different ones together, markets in particular, which has had, you know, a mixed reaction, I'd say, in, in the community in general, looks better. So it looks better in context with something else next to it. It's not as good standalone, I want to say, but as soon as you put something next to it, it really helps because you start to see the overall feel, the overall spacing and kind of cadence of, of shape and volume that the designers have been going for with the entire series. And it, I think it makes sense. You know, you don't want to have everything absolutely completely compacted together but when you look at markets just by itself you know the the newest one uh, it's it's easy to see that there's quite a bit of space in the middle of it which might not feel as exciting as something like a gardens you know where you do have a little bit of space down there but it's not a lot you know and even even that has a, a table in the middle of it so anything anything that is just plain gray walkway tends to to be broken up pretty quickly either from from within or about you know things overlap around the outside things overhang from above and and such obviously i've got the uh, the spike right there it's not able to fit all the way up on top because i ran out of vertical space let me show you what this looks like from the other side also hopefully the colors aren't going to be too bad now, definitely these are not designed to look their best around the back but I have chosen to keep these facing the way that they are because this is the more convenient angle from which to view it. This is viewing this just from the outside of the city from around from around the edges. So I'm not really having to to crawl underneath the tables to get this view here. And just, you know, it's it's nice to see something different. You know, plenty of plenty of folks know what the fronts of these buildings look like. Rarely do you ever see the back other than just in uh, in a review video or something like that, but you know, not on display. So this just kind of gives a, a different feel overall. And I think, yeah, it just gives me a little bit of inspiration. I still don't know exactly how I'm going to integrate these into a longer term plan for this space down here. I think most likely just, especially from the experience that I just had of, of looking at things from the other side, I think that that narrowing up the, the depth of this, not having too much depth, to this space here and, and certainly not having just a a simple uh, flat base plate road going down the front but probably bringing the the back of this towards us here and focusing on just looking at it from one side and you know being being aware of and accepting of the fact that there is limited access to this i mean it's very very uh, very crowded down there right now but it's you know there's just limited access to coming around here to be able to see this because well, there's, there's a whole city on top and that's that's the main focus here so yeah i think i just need to be a little bit more real about it uh, as far as the the overall plan for down here and except <laughs> kind of like i had to uh, up up above i'm still just coming around to the concept of less is more you know in in some cases not focusing on filling everything, uh, filling every possible space up, not focusing on using as much of the, the tables as, as I possibly can, not filling every, 
every bit of floor space and air space up with tables to mount things on, I think is gonna, gonna help longer term. But for now, just wanted to focus on showing you all of these together because, uh, well, a lot of people want to see it. And obviously there's a bunch of mess in the background and everything, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for. I'm going to keep working on stuff here and above. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.